on Vox on over, which is very difficult to defend. Umpire Sam Somerville's got the ball in the middle, and Riley, you can kick us off for Neefel round 13. Massive game this afternoon. Uh, opening ball up, Spencer wins the tap down first. Clearance from Payne towards half forward, off hands. It's going to favour Canberra. Well, that's almost really gone backwards off the ball of Rich, boot of Richardson, but they're still going to clear it away eventually here. The Demons towards half forward. Good spoil from Gross off hand. Lupton couldn't quite get a hand pass away. Payne's thereabouts. It's going to be tied up, though. And it's going to be a ball up about 55 metres out from the attacking goal of Canberra. Of course, Canberra won the toss and they're kicking to the left. of Yeah, unlucky uh, not to get a free kick there. Jack Coughlin just went over the top. Payne extracts it, kicks the top of the square. Freeman used his body beautifully, broke away and then met the ball at its highest point. Takes the mark. That 10 metres out slide angle should be a soda for the big man. We'll follow it in on Neeful TV. Freeman on the right foot, strikes it very well. Hornets first on the board as far as goals are concerned here at Vox on Oval. One straight to Aspley, two behinds to Canberra. Downfield as it were. He plays on. Inside 50, Freeman again. Here he comes for his second goal within a minute. Jonathan Freeman strikes it beautifully. Hornets get the first two on the board and Freeman on fire early. One thing I've noticed early, Aspley, they have gone long inside 50, but around in between the arcs they've been content to... Just chip it around. Snackleberg. Freeman's going to beat two here. Off hands. He almost does. Goes to the back. Murphy. Murphy goal. That's what Billy Murphy does so well for the Aspley Hornets. He's got a reputation for that in season 2019. That's goal number 25 for him first this afternoon. They're just bouncing around. They're really toying with him at the moment. Sent inside 50. Canberra had the numbers. Bud flies off hands. This is going to be another one for the Hornets. Well, that... Let's be honest, he's really poor defensive marking and Lonnie Hampton has kicked his first of the afternoon. Bumped the, uh, his opponent off the ball. I thought he gave away a free kick there, but nothing happening. This is a dangerous, aggressive kick. It's bouncing in the direction of Martin. It misses Martin. Henderson to Bolch. Bolch on the outside of the right shoe. Oh, nice finish. Tom Bolch, the late inclusion for Aspley. It's a penetrating sort of a ball. A little, a little directed and Stanley... He's taken the mark defensively. Looks inboard. Well, it's come off hands, and this is going to be a shot at goal. And just like that, Canberra have kicked their first Harrison through Carr. Harrison Carr. Amazing. <laughs> it sort of just bobbed up out of nowhere. Murphy lays the tackle. Could have been a throw, really. Aspley get it nonetheless. Snackleberg. Well, he had the turning circle of the Titanic that time, and then his kick got smothered. Canberra trying to raffle around, but it's oh. not going to work out. It'll come to Wives. 20 out, and there's the quick reply. Finds Hardy. Hardy will quickly turn around towards half forward. Not the greatest of kicks. Gross couldn't take the mark, so it lets the Demons in at least. They've really lined this up. It's another snap at goal. It goes over the back, and that is another one there for the Demons. So goal for goal early. That's their second goal of the quarter. Number two there for Harrison Carr. Good body work. Got the ball to ground. Hampton to Ives. Ives, standing start from 45. Pops it up to the top of the square. Murphy at the back as he juggled it. Inside the line, he has. So Box Hill Billy from the left forward pocket. He will take off and curl it around the corner on the right shoe. He's already kicked one today. Make that two. Billy Murphy gets another one for Aspley to Ives. Ives waited it and waited it uh, basically for the Asp uh, Canberra defence. Now Billy Murphy at the back. Box Hill Billy outside of the right shoe. Thank you. <laughs> Billy Murphy, in the blink of an eye, has his third goal. More toe than a Roman sandal. At ground level, he just basically pokes it through his legs. It's picked up there by Smouty, lets loose the ball as well. Vardaniga kicks it up and down the coal mine shaft. It goes now back to Jordan Arnold, chipping pass. Misses the target in Hayden. They're still battling for it, Aspley. Ball's still inside their attacking 50. Billy Murphy gets involved. Gets rid of one tackler. Handball away to Hayden. Top of the square now. Canberra with the numbers. They still can't utilise those numbers. Ives is going to pick it up and kick a goal. He does. Watch this. Bang! Ives, 19th disposal. Payne, 14th disposal. And it's a ripper. i tell you what. <laughs> and Stackelberg has oh. taken the mark. And this is not a misread of speech. 49 points halfway through the second. And there you go. 
So that means there's about 32 players around the attacking 50 for Ashley. They will get it out. Nice pain again. Handball to Castledine to Freeman. Freeman, you can just hear you. Oh, no, it is Stackelberg. Sorry, it is Stackelberg. 45-degree angle. And Stackelberg drills it. And they love it, the Hornets. Inflicting more pain here on the Canberra Demons. 11 4 70. Goes towards the boundary line now. There's a disciplined kick. Nellis, good spoiling effort, though. Ashley still with an opportunity. Hampton gets the handball. He's got to bang it through. And it's just party time here for the Hornets. About 55 metres out. We'll set it up. Can they get another one before half time? Freeman in position 1A. Oh, he hasn't taken it. Spencer has. Freezer! Freezer! So Spencer will kick a goal. It's 68 points. And my tip has made me look quite idiotic. No, it, look, I said it was going to be really close too. And the fact that Aspley would win a close one because they were the home side. Getting a few touches. Nellis and playing in front. It's uh, Stackelberg yet again. It is Stackelberg. They've played a magnificent game in this first half. Probably the best first half they've played in a long time. Sandgate product. Stackelberg comes in. He's a beautiful kick of the footy. No doubt about it. And the conversion is wonderful. 14-5, 89, plays 2-3-15. The ball thrown in, Spencer at the back. It's brought down by Maynard. He tries to tow it out as well. Still plenty of congestion. It's picked up there. Was it Malign having a flying shot? It was, and he puts it through. There you go. There's a heartbeat. The pulse is still there for the Canberra Demons. The back of the pack. That's a very good kick. Spotted up a couple of targets, and he found good one in Harper. Harper now has a man on the lead. Jeez, that's uh, usually delivering it out. Can he impact the scoreboard and do something for Canberra? Oh, he sold the big dummy. Got the handball out to Harper, who has another flying ping at it. Just gets over the top. Boy, it was some hard work to make that happen. Haven't scored a goal this quarter. Beautifully done there by the debutante in Lupton. Kicks it inside 50. And there's the experience I've been waiting to see from Aaron Bruce. From close. He's on a bit of an angle. But pokes it through. Not a problem in the world. And that's better from the Demons. 15-7-97 plays 5-4-34. Running around. He's got, still got Castle Dine on his hammer. Dangerous kick. Hampton takes it, roves it, goes in and spears it. It really just wasn't the greatest execution of a kick. Just a little bit too high. He could have went long that time, but they've showed a lot of composure this afternoon, Aspley. Now it'll be set up to the contest. He sets it. Freeman couldn't take it. Maynard off hands. It's going to work out well here. Although Richardson, oh well... Well, 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 what more do you say? It should be another goal. It's the words of Michael Price. And Tommy Bolch has kicked a goal. That's number two for him. Late inclusion this afternoon. He's played his role. Ball spills to centre-half forward. Aspley still applying the pressure. Bolch to Castledine. Weaves through traffic to Henderson. Henderson tries to get it to Nellis. Oh, that's a good uh, spoil. There from Martin. At the back, though, umpire has called advantage. Jordan Hayden takes the hey, Dallas, kick, and that is a goal. There was a free kick called. I was watching the umpire there who was waving it forward. He, there was a free kick whistle. Good smothering effort there from Castle Dine Lands in the hands of Payne, and that's dangerous as Hayden's going to get on the end of it. No, Castle Dine's the target, the left foot, top of the square. Freeman and the... Well, Freeman's going to get it off Hayden. There you go. John o Freeman kicks his fourth goal, is it? No, he's third. Bruce takes the mark. Standing start, 45, top of the square. Hardy! Great grab, Mitch Hardy, at the back of the pack. It's set up nicely for him. He popped it back, and it landed in the arms of the debutant, Liam Lupton. Comes in from 20, strikes it nicely, and they should get around him, and they do. The Canberra Demons come from any, everywhere, and Liam Lupton gets a goal in his first knee full game. Well done, young man. He'll send it towards the wing, and that is the most space Jake Spencer has got all day. He'll trot around, 
like a Clydesdale horse and send it in beautifully to Stackelberg. And a goal. And Stackelberg, he's coming up for goal number four. Sends it on its way and he has done that very nicely. So there's the throw in. And Nellis wins Jamison. Jamison wins it down. Maguire, that's a clever kick. That is the quality of Mitch Maguire. It's been missing far too much this afternoon, but... Back to 83, sends it on its way. That's a nice kick off the boot, isn't it? Fantastic efforts from Lucas Maline and... Well, good goal in consolation early, but that's number two for him. Back to 83 points to the margin. 2010, 130 to 75, 47... We'll see how they go. Inside 50 coming up. No, Nellis overruns it. Canberra with the ball. This is what they would like to see. The Demons is to finish off strongly. Ball inside 50. Good mark. Harrison Carr. They need to build that pride, and they just need something to go into the next month of their season, which is going to prove massive. The former North Shore bomber, Harry Carr, starts it right and just, just gets it in. So his third goal. He'll have to let go of this from just outside 50, but it's not without... I oh know, he's just made an idiot of me and gives it to Mitchell Maguire on a tight angle 45 metres out. Well, I don't think that kick was too advantageous, to be honest with you. <laughs> the positive for the Demons. He comes in. Let's see if he can salvage something from his day. Beautifully struck kick. Beautifully struck kick, Mitch Maguire. Hasn't been a great day, but that was an exquisite finish. James Ives, who's been close to the best on ground for mine all day, especially when it was hot early, kicks it inside 50. Spencer, off hands, Billy Murphy, handballs it off to Payne, who drills it home. Great stuff at the foot of the pack again. And that's 78 points, 21 goals, 12, 138, plays 9-5-59. Speed up. Oh, look at that from Ives. Ives. Hair pass over the top. Freeman keeps it in. Hampton breaks the tackle. Oh, timekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That is the final siren here. Finishes with a bit of fun. We were barracking for Gavin Gross to get a goal in his 150th, but it has been a comprehensive victory by the Aspley Hornets here. They have won by 80 points over the Canberra Demons in a game that we predicted would be a tight run contest.